happy morning everybody welcome to another session with data analytics for startup and i hope you are enjoying these videos you are, this is helping you to learn my motto is to make everybody to learn or everybody help everybody to learn if you are enjoying this video show us a little support and subscribe to this channel now in today's video we're going to understand what all variables you can create in r and if at all the variables are not strongly typed then how do you assign the values and control the variable types also this also shows how to reuse the variable and we also going to see how to check the type or cast a type for a variable stay tuned enjoy the video let's see how do you define the variables in r and how do you going to deal with those variables firstly we're going to start with some sort of boolean variables now a boolean variable as you know it holds primarily two types of values one is a true and the one is a false so let's see how do you define that so i am defining one variable which is called condition and i going to assign one specific value true in all upper case as you can see here into this variable now the moment i execute this variable i'll be getting a variable created as condition and the value assigned to that is true now if at all i have to check whether this variable is a uh, holding a true value or not at some point of time or if i told i wanted to use that variable i'm going to say the name of the variable condition <clears throat> and i'm going to get it executed so now i'm getting a response from the terminal as true that means the variable condition is holding a val value true similarly i can also define opposite value to that which is called false to the same variable and wherever required i can use that variable and this time this variable going to print false for me now this might happen that over a long period of time for a very long lengthy code you have defined multiple variables and you don't really remember what is the last type you have assigned to this now as we know based on the assigned value the variable takes a types so we're going to go ahead and find out how to understand the type of a variable now for that purpose we're going to use a function called is function and the moment i say is dot i can check the variable whether it's a array type or a atomic type whether it's a call to a different function whether it's a character complex type data frame double whether it's an element whether it's an expression whether it's a factor or uh, to be matter of fact whether it's a logical value now if i say is logical and then if i say condition then let's see what does this rep replies to me it said is logical condition is condition a logical variable the answer is true that means it's a boolean type variable subsequently if i wanted to check it for a wrong type and if i call is integer is condition is a integer type of variable i'll be coming to realize that that answer is a false that means condition is not a integer type variable all right so this is as long as i am partially sure about the type of the condition but if at all i am completely clueless what the variable type is then i can go ahead and use one more method here which is called class and then i can say 
condition for that and then the moment i execute this i'll be realizing that it's a logical type of variable so i use class where i'm completely clueless as what type it goes into and whatever the type i'll come to know about that now this true and false can also be replicated in a shorter form i can create one more variable called second underscore condition and i can assign a value called f for that now let us get it executed and let's see what it happens so now i have executed second underscore condition and i have assigned f to that now the moment i will execute this variable to know what is the value i'll be getting false so it is not taking f as a character rather is taking false subsequently i can also deal with a t let's see what that comes out and then i'll see t also be taken care as a true not as a character t once again if at all i wanted to know what is this variable type at some later state of later stage in the program i'll say class and i'll say second condition as a value i wanted to know what is the class of this second condition variable and i can execute and once again i'll come to know it's a logical type f with the logical variables now let's see what prominently will be using in many of the cases which is a numeric type and a decimal type so let's see i'm creating a variable called data 1 which is to be assigned with a value 2 and i'll get the value loaded into the variable then i'll have data 1 to be printed the moment i say data 1 print i'll be getting a value 2 for it and once again if i wanted to know what is the class of this variable i'll be calling data 1 under a class method and i'll come to know it's a numeric type similarly if at all i have to deal with some floating types or a double type value i'll call a new variable data 2 or as a matter of fact i can also use the same variable once i have done with this work so i'll say 2.5 now and let me store the value once i have stored the value let me find out what is the value get stored in that and it says 2.5 and then i wanted to know what is the class of the value or class of the variable data 2 i can say it's also numeric now at some point of time it will be required for me to change this 2.5 a decimal value into an integer or a matter of fact any variable to a distinguished type so i'll always say something like this as function and i will use something as integer and then i'll say data 2 inside that and what does that replies to me that will get replied as 2 remember friends we have used data 2 which has been assigned 2.5 but now as i am type casting that one to integer it is giving me a return as 2 i can also store that in a variable which is completely possible right so i can also go ahead and store some other form of value let's see what does this turn out so i'm creating a new variable called data 3 and i'm saying i'll be assigning a value which is called 2l let's see what this shows to us so la I just wanted to print the variable now first, and it prints as two once again, and then I wanted to go ahead and find out what is the class of this variable, data three, which has been assigned as value two, l, and then I wanted to figure out what goes in that. Now it shows this gonna be as integer, so if at all anything goes in that. is by default a numeric type 
If at all specifically, we have to mention something as integer, we are supposed to add a character L for that. I can also create a double type variable. As a matter of fact, I'm reusing a variable. Already data2 has been used, but I'm reusing that, which is very well possible in R without changing any data type or something. And this time, I'm assigning a long value to that. So let's see how does this comes out. So I'll have data2 is now holding a value which is called 2.5. And if at all, I suppose to go ahead and try to figure out what is the variable type is being assigned to that, then I'll say class and I'll say data2. This is also numeric. I can also have as long precision as possible. Let's see. So data2 has been assigned now. Uh, with a new value, I'm executing data2, and you see the precision has been cut down here. Now for that, I can always convert this one to a double time, and I can use that, but that comes a later part of time. Another very big advantage here is I can also define some complex type of data. So for a matter of fact, I can say complex, as my variable type, variable name, I'm sorry. And then inside that, I am assigning some value, which is like this, 4 plus 5i. Let me assign this value now, and let me go ahead and check what does this brings to me. Now it is showing 4 plus 5i, and then what's gonna be the class of this? We guesses. I'm going to say, check the class for this variable complex, and I'm going to get it executed. So it's a complex type. Once again, a quick review. If at all I wanted to verify the type class of the variable without any hint, I'm going to use a method called class. If at all I have a little clue about the variable type and I want it to be verified, I'll say is method is operator. And at the same point of time, if at all I wanted to convert any data to any specific class, I will use the as operator for that. So it is for a typecasting. All right, so that brings us to the end of one more session. Hope you understand how to work with variables in R, how to type check or typecast for any types available in R programming. Hope this is going to help you to build greater projects in the future and you will be able to do well in form of R programming. Stay tuned and see you in the next video. Till time, stay healthy, stay safe.